From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. A four-hour drive over dusty, potholed roads. Dr. Abel Wade and a team of vets arrive at a remote village in Cameroon's far north region, where goats have reportedly been dying. They have diarrhea, infected eyes, and sores in their mouths. Yeah, there's, there are a lot of mortalities, a lot of losses. You see even some people crying because they, they, they lose a lot, of that, a lot of animals. Fatal animal illnesses such yeah, as foot yes. and mouth disease are endemic here. They can spread quickly and can destroy entire herds. Now, a revolutionary device based on a nuclear-related technique could help in limiting the spread of threatening diseases. Some 300 million people in African society depend on livestock, a critical lifeline to financial and food security. Cameroon in West Africa is no exception. Animals are raised throughout the country and over one-third of the population breed livestock for a living. Cattle, sheep, goats, and chickens bring in much-needed revenue for families. They also serve as a bank for savings. If a family needs cash for medical or school fees or marriage, animals are sold at market. Yet all this can be shattered by disease. Galgava's animals have PPR, peste des petites ruminants, a highly contagious virus that kills goats and sheep in large numbers. Now disease has killed almost all of them. Poverty has stepped into my house, and I don't know how I will feed my family. To control and contain an outbreak, it's vital for vets to diagnose a disease at an early stage. After four years of research, scientists from the joint FAO, Food and Agriculture Organization, and IAEA, International Atomic Energy Agency, succeeded in finding a solution. They have condensed a sophisticated laboratory-based diagnostic system into a simple, portable toolkit using a nuclear-related technique known as LAMP PCR. Today, Cameroon's National Veterinary Laboratory, which is responsible for monitoring and responding to outbreak of diseases, is taking this portable laboratory directly to the field. You see, before what I used to do was to come and collect some samples, take them back to the lab, and uh, get time, find time to run them before I produce the result. And that meant days or even weeks before anyone could confirm an outbreak. Now, Dr. Wade says, the result is almost instant. With the lamp PCR, once on the field, I can run the test in situ, in the bush, in the farm, and get the result in, in less than an hour. By putting samples into a device linked to a computer powered by a car battery, the reaction can be monitored and a disease diagnosed. With an instant diagnosis, veterinarians can advise farmers how to contain and control the disease by quarantine, treatment, or vaccination. Fast action can not only limit damage to the affected herds, but can also prevent the disease from spreading into neighboring villages or even other countries. With the population rising and the ever-present risk of drought and famine, Cameroon needs to protect one of its most precious commodities, livestock, for future generations. <laughs> This report was produced by Louise Potterton and Peter Pavlicek for the United Nations.